In this day, we're going to discuss about the female reproductive system, mainly focusing on biochemical interaction of hormones, stages of molecular development, sexual behavior, estrocycle, cycle, interspecies mammalian registration, and parturition. The female reproductive system involves production of oocytes, growth, and nutrition of fetus, giving birth in appropriate time, and continuous nutritional function through lactation. The functional anatomy of the female reproductive system consists of two ovaries, the tubular genital tract, which consists of the two uterine tubes, uterus, the vagina, which is the external genitalia, and mammary gland. The ovaries are paired glands that provide for the development of oocytes and for the production of hormones, particularly estrogen and progesterone. It is located in the caudal kidney and suspended from the dorsal wall of the abdomen. The broad ligament is divided into the mesometrium, which is the largest portion, the mesosalpinx, the mesentery of the uterine tube or the palupin tube, and the mesovarium, which connects the ovaries to the broad ligament. In cow and horse, there is an easy manipulation by rectal palpation due to the pendulous suspension. In the mare, the ovary is bean shaped, and in the sow, it is just a cluster of grapes or berry shaped. The ovaries has an ovulation fossa, an indentation in the mare where ovulation is confined. The tunica albuginea is the connective tissue covering the entire ovary, while the cortex is beneath the tunica albuginea and contains large mass of follicles in various stages of development. The medulla, the medulla is centrally located and contains connective tissue, blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves. The ovarian follicles, this classified as a primordial growing and graphene follicles. The primordial follicles are the pr primary follicles. It has a single oocyte with single layer of granulosa. The granulosa cells are derived from the superficial epithelium. Oocytes are derived from mitosis of oogonia in the embryonic genital ridge that migrate into the ovary. The growing follicles. In this stage, they have begun to grow from the resting stage as primordial follicles, but not have developed as a thecal layer or antrum. Two or more layers of granulosa cells surrounding the oocyte, an additional layer added with continued growth. The zona pellucida surrounds the oocyte and provides pores and sperm and needs to recognize and contact the zona pellucida to reach oocyte. The graphene follicle is the follicular stage before ovulation. The antrum is clearly visible and the two layers of the thecal cells, the theca interna and theca externa. It is surrounded by the zona pellucida and the layer of several cells known as the corona radiata. Follicle regression. The atresia or regression of many primordial follicles occur by birth and throughout the reproductive life of the female. Few of the primordial follicles remain at the end of the female's reproductive life. The growth of some number of primordial follicles occur after birth and before puberty, but doesn't reach graphene follicle stage and regress. Oogenesis. Oogenesis is initiated in the embryonic stage. It is a process by which oocytes are formed. It's a growth progress of primary egg cell into a matured ovium. The oocyte of primordial follicle is in a quiescent stage of meiosis. Meiosis resumes at the time of ovulation. Only one oocyte develops from the reduction of primary oocyte. A polar body that lacks sufficient cytoplasmic material for viability develops when the secondary oocyte is formed. The surviving oocyte has a haploid N or the number of chromosomes. 
Tubular genital tract is a structure from female reproductive system, which is a location for transport of spermatozoa to the oocyte, and it is also a development site of the fetus. It includes uterine tubes, also called oviducts or fallopian tubes, which is paired, and convoluted tubes. It is a site of fertilization of released oocytes by spermatozoa in domestic species. So under this is in infadibulum, which is a portion adjacent to its respective ovary expanded, and a fimbria, which projects from the free edge of infandibulum. It assists in directing the oocyte into the infandibulum at the same time of ovulation. This structure is lined with secretory cells, ciliated cells, longitudinal and circular smooth muscles that assist transport. Another one is the uterus, which is a place for development of the fetus if fertilization has occurred. It consists of corpus or the body, cervix or neck, and two cornua or horns. In the interior of the uterus, it has a mucous membrane lining which is called endometrium, which is a highly glandular scattered throughout the entire endometrium except in the ruminants. It has caruncles or a mushroom-like projections in ruminants, which are non-glandular. It provides the nutrients for the embryo before placentation or the development of placental membranes. In cervix, a heavy smooth muscle sphincter is tightly closed, except during the estrus and parturition. For the myometrium, it is a muscular portion of the uterus composed of smooth muscle cells and hypertrophies during pregnancy. The myometrium, or the muscular portion of the uterus, which is composed of smooth muscle cells, so during pregnancy, it enlarge resulting to an increased size of the cells. It aids the expulsion of the fetus at parturition. Another structure is the vagina, which is a portion of birth canal located within the pelvis between the uterus cranially and the vulva caudally. It serves as sheath for male penis during copulation. It is also lined with stratified squamous epithelium and it is glandless. So it has a space form cranial to projection of the cervix into the vagina which is called the fornix. Note that it is only visible dorsally in some animals or completely encircle the cervix. This structure or the fornix is absent in pigs. For the external genitalia, it is consists of vulva, labia and clitoris so the vulva or the vestibule of the vagina is located caudal portion of the female genitalia that extends from the vagina to the exterior and a labia which is lips of the vulva is located external part of the vulva and its vertical opening next is the clitoris which is a female vestigial counterpart of the penis so it is concealed by the lowest part of the vulva and supplies with erectile tissue and sensory nerve endings. For the blood supply of female genitalia, we have here the ovarian artery, which supplies blood to the artery and oviduct, and the vaginal artery, which of course, blood supply to the vagina. Uterine artery is a major blood supply to the uterus. Premitus is a vibration of the blood within the uterine artery, when palpated and considered a good indicator of pregnancy. The arrangement of ovarian artery and uterine vein for diffusion of a hormone called prostaglandin or PGF2A. So, luteolysis is a process of termination of the corpus luteum which is initiated by the hormone called PGF2A at the ovarian site. Uh, next is the important hormones of female reproduction that is associated with ovarian cycling, pregnancy, and parturition. So we have here an example of estrogens, which is the estradiol and estrone, that predominate in domestic non-pregnant and pregnant animals, respectively. Again, the hormone estrogen causes cellular 
proliferation, and growth of the tissues related to the reproduction. There are tissue responses caused by estrogen which includes stimulation of endometrial gland growth, stimulation of duct growth in the mammary gland, increase in secretory activity of uterine ducts, and initiation of sexual receptivity. Progesterone, which is a steroid sex hormone produced by the corpus luteum of the ovary, placenta, and adrenal cortex. It is known as the principal progestational hormone. Under the gonadotrophin is the follicle-stimulating hormone of or FSH, and the luteinizing hormone LH. They play an important role in stimulating cells within the ovary and testis, classified chemically as glycoprotein. The FSH, or the follicle-stimulating hormone, involves in promotion of the growth follicles, and the LH, or luteinizing hormone, is for the ovulatory process and the luteinization of the granulosa, which is an essential aspect of corpus luteum formation. So here we have the ovarian follicular activity occurred in waves characterized by the follicle emergence, growth, and regression. Starting with the puberty or the beginning of the reproductive life, usually marked in the female by the beginning of ovarian activity. It is followed by the formation of graphene follicles when the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone rise and fall. Next is the androgens, which is produced by cells of the theca interna, which the follicle-stimulating hormones converts androgens to estrogens. The estrogens and the follicle-stimulating hormones will cause the granulosa cells to produce secretion and separate of granulosa cells and formation of the space filled with fluid. So this fluid is the liquor folliculi called an antrum. Next is the ovulation which occurs at the ovary surface and is described as the process in which an oocyte or the female germ cell is released from the follicle. So the ovulation is stimulated by the release of luteinizing hormone from the pituitary gland. So in the process of ovulation, first the oocyte is released from the follicle and it is immediately covered by granulosa cell the corona rogiata, and the oocyte with surrounding cells and fluid is swept into the uterine tubes by the fimbrae. In this table, we can see the factors related to female reproduction. So, ovulation is spontaneous in all domestic animals except the cat. In reflex ovulators, which is the cat and non-spontaneous ovulators, coitus is required for ovulation to occur. Carpus luteum formation and regression. It is a formation of carpus luteum involved utilization of granulosa, where granulosa is converted from estrogen secretion to progesterone secretion. It is initiated by preovulatory utilizing hormone surge. Uterus or the endometrium plays a major role in controlling lifespan of the corpus luteum in non pregnant mares, cows, sows use and dose, but it is not active in beach and queen. The prostaglandin F2-alpha released in uterus about 14 days after ovulation. It is a natural utilitic substance and causes regression of the corpus luteum. It must be secreted in large amounts to be effective. Astrocycle and related factors. Astrocycle is a rhythmic phenomenon of regular but limited period of sexual receptivity or the estrus that occurs in intervals. One cycle interval is time from the onset of one period of sexual receptivity to the next or the ovulatory interval. The monoestrus is experiencing estrus one, once each year, where example for this are the wild carnivores, mammals, and bitch. The polyestrus is more than one period of estrus in a year. Most domestic species can occur by this. And the seasonally polyestrus is repeated estrus cycle within the physiologic breeding season, some part of the year, followed by the period and estrus until next breeding season. Stages of estrus cycle. The estrus cycle can be divided into four stages. 
First is the estrus, the time of the sexual receptivity, also called heat, the ovulation usually, but not always occurs in the end of the estrus. Next is the met estrus, early post ovulatory period during which the corpus luteum begins development. Third is the diastrus, the period of mature luteal activity, which begins about four days after ovulation and ends with the regression of the corpus luteum. Lastly is the proestrus. It is the period beginning after corpus luteum regression and ending at the onset of estrus. A rapid follicle development leads to ovulation and to the onset of sexual receptivity. Photo period. For seasonal breeders like queen, doe, you, and mare, it is sexually inactive during certain times of the year. The photo period is a relative length of alternating period of light and dark. An estrus without estrus cycle, like queen and mare late in the fall, turn off time because of the decreasing light. Ovarian cycles are resumed in the late winter or early spring, turn on time by increasing light. The U and doe is the opposite to queen and mare, turn on time with a decrease in daylight and turn off time with the increase in daylight. Nutrition is most apparent at puberty and on re-establishment of the estrus cycle after parturition. Animals ingesting sound nutritional regimens reach puberty at the earlier age. Breeding seasons can be delayed in calves or deprived at adequate of adequate nutrition. Species characteristics. For cow, Smaller breed of cows usually reach puberty at an earlier age. It is ovulates 12 to 14 hours after estrus. Most successfully, alternative insemination occurs when performed about 12 hours after the beginning of estrus. 30 to 48 hours fertile life of bovine spermatozoa in female genitalia. 20 to 24 hours fertile life of bovine oocytes. There could be a behavioral changes in cow. It could be restlessness, mounting activity, standing to be mounted, being more alert to other animals, decreased appetite, decreased milk production, mucus discharge from the vulva, and redness of the relaxation of vulva. For mares, puberty occurs during the breeding season after birth. If interval between birth and the next breeding season is short, puberty can be delayed for 12 months. Puberty age is to 12 to 18 months. Ovulation occurs about 24 hours before the end of estrus. So the sign of estrus for mare are elevation of the tail, standing with hind legs apart, squatting, urinating, and rhythmically erecting clitoris. For you, Lambs normally born between December and March in Northern Hemisphere. Its puberty is 8 to 9 months of age. Estrus cycle shorter than other. Physiologic breathing season could be 6 to 7 months. Repeated estrus cycles are observed in absence of pregnancy. So their signs of estrus could be fluttering of the tail. When separating by, the bar by a barrier, the females assume a close proximity to the barrier closer to the males. In sow, puberty starts at 6 to 7 months. The ovulation rates are more pronounced at the third estrus after the puberty. The ovulation occurs from both ovaries is at 14 to 16 days. It is considered best to practice to wait until her third heat at, at about 18 to 24 months. These are the signs of estrus in sow, the swelling of vulva, the restlessness, and the decrease of appetite. There is also a method to check if the sow is in estrus by applying the pressure on sow's back to elicit rigidity reflex. In dough, it is similar for goats and sheep that are normally born between December and March. Puberty starts at 8 to 9 months and breeding often delayed and similar signs to those in you, like fluttering of the tail when separated by a barrier, the females assume the close proximately 
to the barrier closer to the males. And mating are over within the several second. Did you know that pseudo pregnancy is a condition in which female display most of the sign of the pregnancy, but it's not pregnant? In which the puberty is starts at six to twelve months of age. It is advisable to impregnate the bitch at two to three months after reaching the adult size. The unusual long period of the ovarian inactivity and estrus are unrelated to photoperiod or nutrition. The estrus cycles are commonly common at all time of the year. The proestrus and estrus are seven days long, and the diestrus are seven to eighty days long, and the ovulation of the dog is at twenty-four to forty-eight hours. The sexual receptivity of the bitch is maintained for 7 to 10 days. And pseudo pregnancy is often seen in a bitch. In Queen, when a kitten is born in spring and summer, puberty is in next breeding season are 16 to 8 months of age. When the kitten is born in fall and early winter, the puberty is delayed for one year. Breeding season for queen is January to October. No quietus, no ovulation, and no luteal phase. The follicular phase and the ovarian inactivity is eight days. The several coital, coital contacts might be made at 10 to 15 seconds each time. During the first contact, four or five intromission of ejaculation might occur. These are the signs of Estrus of a kin, queen. It increases in affection, crawl with the thorax against the floor, and vocal, vocalization. And most of the time, pseudo pregnancy occurs if the luteal phase occurs without pregnancy. Pregnancy is a condition of the female which unborn young are contained within the body. It's also called gestation and it's frequently known as the gestation period from the fertilization through birth. The transport of oocyte and spermatozoa. Here, the contractile activity of the fimbrae directly, direct, directly shed oocyte into the funnel shape opening of the uterine tube. In the uterine tube, the oocyte is directed by cilia toward the uterus and also by the uterine tube motility. Spermatozoa In the spermatozoa, the ejaculation of spermatozoa are transferred, transported to uterine tubes. It increases motility, motility within the uterus caused by release of oxytocin at the time of coitus presence of the prostaglandins, prostaglandins in semen. Another factor that assists in transport is the presence of the neg negative pressure or the vacuum in the uterus. Many sperm are rapidly transported but not the ones destined for fertilization. Sperm are, sperms are destined are for fertilization are transported more slowly from their sites of depositions to spermatozoa reservoir. Capacitated spermatozoa slowly release from reservoir and proceed to the ampulla of the oviduct for fertilization. The cervix of the ruminants are prominent ridges and mucosal crypts that provides an extensive secretory surface. This aids it aids a physical entrapment of the spermatozoa and serve as spermatozoa reservoir. Another spermatozoa reservoir is located at the junction of the uterine horn within the uterine tube. The spermatozoa undergoes changes to penetrate the zona pellucida to fertilize the egg. Acrosome is a unique membrous organelle located over the anterior part of sperm nucleus that is highly conserved through evolution 
This acid vocule contains a number of hydrolytic enzymes that, when secreted, it helps the sperm penetrate the egg's coat. In domestic animals, oocytes retain visibility at 12 to 18 hours. Here it shows that there are different types of spermatozoa zoa retain fertility ability. In cow, ewe, and sow, it is 24 to 48 hours. In which it, it takes at 90 hours, and in the mare, it takes a 5 days or 120 hours. Fertilization is a fusion of male and female gamete to form one single cell, which is the zygote. It involves enzyme hydrokinidase and acrosine, a prolytic enzyme from acrosome. Also involves, involves the spermatozoan ability. Here in the right, as we, here are the terms for the fertilization. Zygotes remain in the uterine for 3 to 4 days before transfer to the uterus. The completion after the fused pronuclei have disappeared and, and are replaced by the chromosome group united in pro phase for the first mitotic division. Implantation and placentation occurs two to five weeks after fertilization. In cats, shortest interval at six weeks. Cattle and horses at the longest interval at five weeks. Implantation of embryo occurs when it becomes a fixed and a position and form a physical and functional contact with the roots. Presentation development of extra embryonic embryos. Petal placenta collective germ or membrane. Diffuse placenta. Attach of fetal membrane to endometrium continuous throughout the entire surface of the fetal membrane found in pores and feet. The cotyledonary dunary placenta and dominant attach occurs only at the main mushroom-like projection from the endometrium. Placentomy fetal has cotyledons attached to Maternal parenchyms. Zonary placenta attached by girder like bands that encircle the placenta found in dogs and cats. Discoidal placenta found in human attached confined to a this shaped area. Free Martin, a heavy calf born to a normal bull calf, is sterile occurs when the female calf develops in the uterus with a normal male twin and they share the same blood supply. Hormones Pregnancy is maintained as a result of predominance of progesterone. Gestation Progesterone produced by placenta and CL. CL source needed by all species during the early pregnancy. CL needed the most cow, bitch, and queen. CL needed for entire pregnancy in sow and goo. Regressions of CL, endometrial calf, and near. Parturition, sometimes called labor, is the physiologic process by which the pregnant uterus Deliver the fetus and the fetal membrane from the mother. Signs of approaching pasturation. Abdomen continues to enlarge. Mammary gland continues continue to enlarge. Secret milk is developed. Swelling of the vulva discharge moves from the vulva. Abdomen, abdominal muscle relax, causing a belly to drop and drop to sink in. Relaxing. Hormones causing a relaxation of ligaments, 
to enable the personnel to enlarge. PG2, uh, PG F2 alpha helps to relax the cervix. Behavioral signs. Restlessness. Frequent lying down and getting up. Frequent urination. Speech and sound attempt to build elaborateness. Rectal temperature changes study as indicator of impending the frustration under assumption that certain hormones influence body type. Hormone changes. Estrogen. Estrogen produced by phytoplacenta used as a maturity of fetus process. Cortisol by fetal adrenocorts is concurrent with the immaturity of fetus of fetus. Initiates the perpetuum increase in estrogen production. Estrogen assists in the production of uterine muscle, contractile protein for pasturage. PG2 alpha initiate regressions of CL and subsequent lowering of progesterone level. PG2 alpha initiate regression subsequent lowering of progesterone level. Increased contractility of uterus by permitting the greater uterine mobility of sarcoplasmatic Plasmic calcium. Increased estrogens and decreased progesterone convert the uterus in state of presence to a state of potential contractility. Mere changes in a maternal hormone levels do not seem to play a major role in the situation. Oxytocin released from posterior pituitary. Enhance the, the rhythmic contractions of uterine musculature during delivery. Abdomin expulsion of the baby. Abdominal and uterine muscle contraction, relaxed pelvic ligament, separation of pelvic symphysis, dilation of the cervix. And these are the events. Events of frustration begin with the prepartum secretion of the fetal, cortisol and ending expulsion of the fetus, PG2 alpha, prostaglandin, prostaglandin F2 alpha, CL or the progesterone. Presentation Anterior or the cranial presentation. Front leg, front leg pointed towards the cervix, head extended and tucked between feet. Back of calf directed towards the sacral vertebral. Posterior or caudal presentation, hind feet extended into the pelvic canal, considered a normal but less common. Stages. Uterine contractions, contractions associated with expulsion of the fetus, involution of the uterus. Process by which a uterus returns to its non pregnant size after frustration. Points of attachment of the fetal placenta the endometrium plug and expose the myometrium contracts and cell shorten. Cow. Within six to seven days of postpartum, upper two or three of the maternal cranial plug into the uterus part of fluid discharge. Epithelial cells uh, of parental must be shed for the placenta to be expelled. Within 21 to 35 days, all cellular 
prepare has occurred. Endometrial gland function is reserved. 45 to 60 days postpartum uterus is observed. Suckling by calf, low energy intake, infection, and heavy lactation. Lactation delay occurs. Mirror, ear, and sound. For the mirror, involution rapid but not complete. Whole heat occurs within 6 to 13 days postpartum, usually accompanied by ovulations and mirror breeds. At this time, can become pregnant. Conception rates are lower when breeding occurs during cold heat. Here in sow complete involution at 24 to 28 days. So, non-fertile estrus occurs 3 to 5 days after farrowing. So, not lactating uterus during the first week of farrowing have estrus with evolution within two weeks. Weaning of feeds at any time induce estrus within the evolution in three to five days. Photoperiod of estrus activity characteristic in the species. For the beach, in the placenta area, Return to a normal routine a few weeks. The center site required about 12 weeks to involute and feed. It estrus doesn't occur until after a young are weaned. 